Hello friends, this video on data handling part 18 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. Now let us take another example of probability. Now I am sure all of you would have played Ludo somewhere or the other real lifetime. Yeah, so Ludo is a very common indoor game. Now while playing a while playing Ludo, you might you might have used the dice. So how does a dice look like? So this is how a dice looks like. It has six sides and on the six sides you have these dots which uh, which uh, indicates one, two, three, four, five and six. So every time you throw the dice, it shows one particular side. So basically it shows one particular number. So what are the possible outcomes when you throw a dice? What are the possible outcomes? Now the outcome would be one. The dice will show just one value. But what are the possible values? The possible values are one, two, three, four, five, six. So these are the possible outcomes when you throw a dice. You might end up seeing a one or a two or a three or a four or a five or a six but you cannot see anything other than these. So these are the only possible outcomes when you throw a dice. And each of these outcome is equally probable because when we are throwing a dice, it is not that the chances of getting a six is more than the chances of getting a three. Does that happen? No, it, it is just a matter of chance. It might be a three, it might be a four, it might be a two, it can be anything. So what is the probability of each of these? So if I ask you that what is the probability that you will get a 1 when you throw a dice. So the probability of getting 1 is 1 by 6 because there are 6 total possible outcomes. And 1 is getting 1 is just one outcome out of those 6 outcomes. So therefore the probability of getting 1 is 1 by 6. What is the probability that you will get a 3? So again the probability of getting 3 is 1 by 6 because 3 is just one outcome out of the six possible outcomes. So probability of getting a three is also one by six. What is the probability of getting a five? That is also one by six. What is the probability of getting a six? That is also one by six. Because probability of getting any of these numbers, one, two, three, four, five or six is equal because all of them are equally likely outcomes. So every time you throw the dice, it could be any of these numbers. Right? So this is another example where we talk about probability because this is, these are very common examples where you actually witness that uh, the chance that it, it is just a matter of chance that anything can be the outcome. Sometimes while playing Ludo you would have seen that when you throw the dice uh, simultaneously for maybe uh, four to five times, two times you got two, two times you got six. And then you got a one. So you just get anything. You just can get anything. But the probability of getting any of these numbers are equal and each of their probability is one by six. Now another very popular example of probability comes into picture with the playing cards. Now have you ever played with these playing cards? If not, you, you must be knowing about it because this is also a very common game. Now when you see a pack of cards in inside the packet, do you know how many cards exist? There exists a total of 52 cards. Now when you look at those 52 cards, you would see that actually there are just four types of cards. Maybe their numbers are more, but there are four types of cards. And here on the screen, you can see the four types of cards, club, diamond, heart and spade. So club and spade, they are black in color, diamond and heart, they are red in color. So these are the only four types of cards that you see in a pack of 52 cards. Now you might ask, then why do we have 52 cards? That's because each of these type, for example, if you talk about club, so in club, you would have, you would have ace, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, jack, king and queen. So all together you have these many things in each type of card. So basically each in each type of card you have 13 cards. So you have 13 cards for diamond, you have 13 cards for heart, 13 for spade and 13 for club.
and all of them would have a king all of them would have a queen all of them would have a jack all of them would have an ace and so on so that that's how the cards look like so basically you have total 52 cards you have four types of cards each type 13 cards so now if i ask you that what is the probability of getting a diamond five so that means I am telling you that I want to know the probability of getting a diamond 5. So when I say a diamond, now diamond is one type out of the four cards. But in diamond also I am very specific that I want it to be a diamond with number 5. Because now in diamond also you do have different cards like you have ace, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, jack, king, queen. So many different cards are there. So we want diamond five. So what would be its probability? Now the total number of probability of getting any card. Now since there are total 52 cards, so the total number of probability is 52 because we have 52 different cards so whenever you throw a card it could be any of these cards any of these cards right so the total possible outcomes is 52 now we want a specific card we want a diamond 5 now how many cards which are diamond and which is also 5 will exist so in these 52 cards how many cards are diamond and 5 there is just one card which is a diamond and also a 5. So that the probability of getting that one card would be 1 out of 52. Because 52 is the total number of outcomes. Total number of possible outcomes. So the total possible outcomes is 52 and the possibility of getting a diamond 5 is just 1. So this probability would be 1 by 52. Now if I ask you what is the probability of getting a queen? Now here I have not mentioned whether the queen has to be a diamond queen or a heart queen or a club queen or a spade queen. So I have just told the probability of getting a queen. It could be any of these queens. Right. So in this case what would be the probability. Now here also the total possible outcomes is 52. Total possible outcomes here also is 52 because the total number of cards is still 52. But here we want any queen. So how many cards which are queen exist in these 52 cards. How many cards for queen exists? Total number of queens that exist in a pack of 52 cards is 4 because you will have one queen for club, one queen for diamond, one queen for heart and one queen for spade. Now since we have not mentioned which queen, so the probability of getting a queen would be 4 by 52 because you have 4 possibilities of queen divided by the total possibilities that is 52 so it would be 4 by 52 now let us say what will be the probability of getting a spade that means now i am not even specifying whether it should be a queen or five or one or whatever i am just saying that what is the possibility that the card is a spade now in this case the total possible outcomes still remains to be 52 but how many cards are spade in a pack of 52 cards. Now as I have mentioned before that there would be 13 cards for spade in the entire packet. Now these 13 cards some of these one of these would be queen, one would be king, one would be jack, one would be 3, 4, 5 etc. But we are not worried about what is the number of the card. We only want the probability of getting a spade. So the total possibilities of getting a spade is 13. So therefore the probability of getting a spade would be 13 divided by 52. So now looking at the way we are finding out probability, what do we conclude? We conclude that probability of an event is equal to the number of outcomes for that event divided by the total number of outcomes. That is the total number of possibilities. So whenever we are talking about the probability of particular event, so let us take the same example of playing cards. Now let us say if we want to find out the probability of getting a red card. Because I have told you that there are total four types of card out of which diamond and heart are red in color, 
club and spade are black in color so if we ask you that what is the possibility to get a red card now here we are not even bothered whether that red card is a diamond or a heart whether that red card is a king or a queen or a jack or a five or a six or a nine so we are not bothered about the numbers on the card we are not even bothered whether it is a diamond or a heart we only want to know what is the probability of getting a red card so in this case what is the total number of possibilities with 52 cards the total number of possibilities is 52 and how many red cards do we have in the in that pack of 52 cards how many red cards do we have because as we have discussed before that we have four types of card and e the number of each type of card is 13 so total how many red cards do we have we have 13 plus 13 that is 26 red cards that means there is a the, there are 26 possible outcomes there are 26 outcomes that we can get to as a red card so we can get a red diamond five we can get a red heart six we can get a red heart king we can get a red diamond queen so there are how many total outcomes for a red card so total possible outcomes for a red card will be 26 therefore the probability of getting a red card will be 26 by 52 so this is how we calculate right so what are we actually doing we are actually considering the number of outcomes of an event that is number of outcomes for getting a red card so that would be 26 divided by the total number of possible outcomes which is 52 and that is how we have calculated the probabilities before also so when we have calculated the probability of getting a queen or a spade or a diamond five so we have used the same logic so if you want you can apply the same logic and you you can try out try to find out probabilities of more events like this Thank you. Please visit examfear.com for free quality education. You can learn with a simple four-step learning process wherein you can watch video lessons, you can ask your questions, you can refer notes and you can take a free online test. We have content for class 6 to 12 on physics, chemistry, mathematics and biology along with practical videos. So please subscribe to our channel for daily updates. Thank you.